All right, this is a brief video. I've uh, worked myself into a, a mapping strategy that I'm kind of fond of. I'm still missing three points from uh, down here, um, wherever that one. Yeah, three points from the invitations. Uh, that's fine though. I'm running um, uh, some beast theory. Uh, I have a, the deep and the sands available as well as us common. Uh, quantity rarity. Um, we have some map chances here and here, harbingers here, and uh, where's the other one? Here, here, here. Uh, and then Eater of Worlds and Sacred Grove. And that's about it for that. And I made the last uh, map really rippy and died as a result a couple times, but it's all good. So I am running about 45 million DPS right now uh, on this character, and this I end up. This is my objective from the beginning, was to figure out a way to rework my Necromancer. And I was planning on doing exactly what you see right here. I've wanted to play this for multiple leagues now, and it's been sitting in my... Um, it's been sitting in Path of Building for a while, and I just, I've kept updating it with each league, and I just have not had the opportunity to play it. Uh, but it's... It takes a lot to get started, and it's definitely not something I would league start with. I would uh, league start with something else, something that has a bit more tank to it, that isn't going to struggle to survive. It's taken me a while to get this tanky. Right now, I have a lot of energy shield regeneration, as you can see. There's, I have a 4k energy shield, and uh, we're going to go straight for the boss here, but I... And I regenerate energy shield really fast. I have, and then like 82% evasion. And most of my sustain is just from dealing mass amounts of damage at immense speeds, so. And I forgot until I got to this point how um, annoying it is to play a character that does not have much tank to it because I've played really tanky characters for the last bit of time because I am not fond of dying. Um, <laughs> then the um, Necromancer, uh, which is what this was for the Minion Master, was did not die overly fast. Is a rather tanky character, but this one is much more fragile. I probably could have waited a bit to get started on it. And that beast is really tanky holy crap is that i'm doing about 40 i think it's about 45 to 46 million damage right now um grand yeah i don't care what direction they go they come out from where i'm cycling so it doesn't matter you know what i saw that coming and i just failed to dodge so it's all good all right, let's get back to this here. Hoping a sacred grove's on here. It may or may not be. Local, need your aid. All right, let's see. Oh, and I have lock boxes on here. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. The lock boxes are generally one of my favorite things to do. So. One of the tricks I've realized as I've been playing this character, like I stopping moving until everything is dead is re generally really bad. Let's dodge. I normally auto just get out of the way once I open a lockbox because I don't even risk it reading it fast enough and misreading something. The one back there I just wasn't paying attention to. Um, let's go ahead and get these. We need to chaos damage. That's fine. Well, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, expedition logbooks here, here. Lose another limb, are ya? Sure, go like that. See what happens. And see, I just tear things apart with this build. But once again, it sacrifices. Uh, the defensive capabilities some of my other characters generally have for offensive abilities. Granted, uh, if nothing's on the map, it doesn't really matter, and I am bleeding, and that is hard to deal with. I don't bleed while I leech, but I wasn't leeching because I wasn't doing damage. 
Let's uh, get rid of this here. Um, I am running a Mage Blood. Uh, I'll link the build in the description, but um, it's not. Once again, it's it's not that. It's, I don't think this is not my build. Um, I've modified it just a little bit from the original source I I have, and I do not remember uh, where that source is at all. There's all sorts of these. I often, as I said before, I just kind of search through um, builds uh, across. Uh, PoE Ninja just to see what people are doing and then take ideas from it um, and then combine that in with using uh, Path of Building to create my own thing and that's kind of what's I, what I'm doing here. Plenty of beasts. I'm not seeing any... Uh... Alrighty. And be cool if there was a uh, what's it called around here um you know what not that it's overly useful I can't click there we go let's take some rusted elder scarabs why not scarabs are never bad Take that. And here. That needs corpses out of the way. Ice Nova out of the way. Rarity and quantity. That's always good. Or these grand elixirs, oh, something's attacking me. And it looks like that's about it for this map. No sacred grove, unfortunately. All right, and that's about it here. Uh, that's just kind of a showcase video of what I'm working on right now. Uh, thanks for watching.